Welcome guys, let's check the design a simple part in our case so here you can see the 3D model of this part and at bottom you can see the 2D sketches of this one part so first let's start to open get a software first and go to start mechanical design part design okay it's okay and you what name you want to do and as usual we have to have this off too because we are not editing this screen and make sure you are in geometrical set work object and select one bulk which is at the origin and insert access system to this one and come to part body work object and let's start to design this part first of all we create this rectangle from from this view so go to sketch positioning select this zero plane origin at this point and orientation which is parallel to this one and create one rectangle like this and another same rectangle going to have this and go like this and make first of all this rectangle symmetrical this vertical axis and bottom rectangle also and actually height uh, length of this bottom rectangle is 40 From this to this activating and actually height of these rectangles are so this is 16 and for bottom it is 8 here it is given as 8 so you this bottom rectangle height as 8 And make sure to make this symmetrical to this horizontal and trim this line now you can see our sketch is fully constrained so as you just do the sketch for page and make sure you are in the part border of it and click on this pad select this to this sketch and check this mirror extend view and check what this pad value we have to do so here you can see the pad value is actually 136 total so we have to do half of this 136 because we have checked this mirror extend now let's start to design this part so go to sketch positioning and say it is to have plane origin at this point orientation which is parallel to this line so first of all we have to create one outer circle so create one circle here which is exactly coincident to this vertical axis and the diametric value of this circle is given as 42 change it as a diameter Now create one horizontal line here. Come on, origin. It is come at Create this actually from here to here, it is come at 16. 
so from this to this it is connected so delete this make sure from this to this value is um, 40 plus 18 18 so select this line 14 plus 18 plus 18 this comment 76 make sure to make this line as a symmetrical it is vertical now select this line commander and select one end as this and one end is tangent to this circle the same line we have to make on other circle click here and make sure to tangent to this now delete this line do this damage now you can see this part is done so exit the 2 sketch for bench select pad command and make sure we are clicking the extent value is 68 yes yes ok and we have to create one elongated circle here so go to again this z right plane from this sketch position select project point at this orientation which is parallel to this line paste code now uh, create one circle which is exactly coincident to this vertical axis and diameter of this just is given as which is 42 make sure from this to this i think it is at 50 somewhat like 55 actually let's make some dimension which is going concept to this and now you can view from origin dimension from this to this and now delete this concentric symbol now exit to this kit working and select pad command here and make sure to select under extend and let's check what pad value we have to get so actually from here to here it is 20 and it is 20 so here you can see it is at 136 and it is 144 so here you can see 131 minus 136 it is connected as F means from this set 4 and this set 4 we have to leave so first of all we will pair this is up to 136, half of 136 and 68 and plus 68 plus 4 we have to do so you can see from this is 4 and this is 4 if I ok here actually we can check what is an actual value coming here? So it is not exactly from this, this it comes at 144, which is correct. And now we have to create. 
pocket here so select this general plane again and the origin at this point orientation which is parallel to this line and save this projected to the element and select this all to what we want this also this up so double click to this command so we can use again and again actually delete this up make sure to close this to the sketch now exit the to the sketch page now we can use pocket command here and make sure to use mirror extend and now we have to check this so the dimension we have to do from 144 we want 20 here and 20 here that's why we are 144 back to 144 back to 72 Same to two minus fifty. So same to two minus twenty minus fifty. This comes like this. Okay. Okay. Now we can check for the major pupil and select this surface. This surface here when we have to minus twenty. Now our sketch is perfect. Now what is the part? Now we have to create one hole here. So go to whole command and select this space. Check this whole size is 80. Make sure this hole is yes, this hole is perfectly inclined to this circle. Consecutive to this circle. And we can this to here we can select up two surface and select this next part. And diameter of this hole. To be given here as a 80. Now we have to create this center part. We have to create this part. Then, for creating this, select square position, select this xy plane, click this point, create one circle here. And dia as 40. And exit to do this sketch workbench. And check what is value of this. From this to this, from here to here, it is 8. And 8 plus 16 plus 2. And actually, this here we can see. Pad here and decrease some value in this for this for this for this for this. Yes, okay, now we can check what is the value of this on this to this surface. Actually, it comes to so here. Uh, actually, it is come to. I, I also don't know. How it is coming, but it comes so only we have to create one hole also here. So the whole diameter of the split is 20. So select whole command, select this space, and give more as diameter of all is 20. And make sure to make this one up to next, and make sure this hole is perfectly considering to this circle. Yes, okay. Now you can see all exactly parties created in this model. In this schedule software. 